second video is going to show you the difference between the standard dashboard and the admin dashboard in WordPress.com and how you can switch between the two of them to get some different types of options or just improve your workflow. So here we are at the standard dashboard. This is what most users see when they log into WordPress.com these days. It should look familiar. You have a menu on the left with most of your options. To get to the admin dashboard, you have to type in up in your browser bar the name of your website slash WP for WordPress hyphen admin. And when you hit enter, it will take you to the other dashboard, the admin dashboard, which is another back end for your website. These both affect your blog in the same way. So if you edit a post here, it's going to make those same changes on your other dashboard. They're connected. It's just two ways of viewing the same content. This is set up in much the same way. You have a menu here on the left side. It has many similar options. For example, here's your pages, which you can manage exactly the same way as you can in your other dashboard. But there are also some additional options that you can access through settings, sometimes more easily. For example, you can edit your site title and tagline all in one place. And one important setting that you may want to change is your time zone because this will affect making sure that your posts show up at the right time. Otherwise, sometimes it can be set to the standard time, which is, is, will be accurate for your post. You can also change things like the format, the way that your dates show up on your blog, um, there are some other settings here as well that you don't have within the standard dashboard. The reason that WordPress has two dashboards is that they introduced the, the standard dashboard fairly recently to kind of streamline the process and make an easier posting experience for their users. But a lot of users still prefer the admin dashboard, especially if they've been using WordPress for a long time. Um, you'll notice that if you edit a page, the interface is very similar, but there are still a few differences. Um, in the way that it shows up, the format is just a little bit different. So when you are working on your WordPress blog, you can use either one. There's no problem with that. You can also switch between the two of them. You can always click on this My Site icon in the top left when you are logged in. And this will bring you back, if you choose any of these options, will bring you back to your standard dashboard so that you can easily switch between the two of them.